Oh, hello there, sports fans. Uh, welcome back to what kind of feels like a second first day of the semester uh, with this class, Sports Journalism. Uh, I decided to make this video to go over and highlight some of the major changes that this course has had to go through, uh, which of all of the classes I'm teaching this semester, this has probably been the hardest one to convert over to an online class uh, and make ready for the virus because uh, it there's no more sports. They're, all of the sports are gone because of the virus. So we've had to make some pretty major changes and let's go over them. So I'm going to share the screen here to uh, look at the folio page for the class. Okay, first of all, what I sent out to you over email a couple of days ago is posted to the news section of the folio site called The Plague Plan. It details everything and every way that the course is going to change moving forward. I want to talk a little bit about them. First of all, the packages. Okay, the packages are changing the most. Uh, first of all, I just want to say that if you were one of the five people that hit the deadline and made the deadline for Story Package 2, uh, which was kind of, the deadline was kind of in the middle of all of this hullabaloo about the virus, um, that uh, it, you'll get some extra credit points. Uh, if you didn't do it, it won't, it won't count against you. Uh, so you do have that going for you. Uh, if uh, Essentially, we're only gonna be able to do th two different kind of packages this semester instead of three. For the last deadline, for the, the uh, final deadline for the packages, instead of writing a preview, a game recap, and then a column, which are three things, instead of doing those three things, you're going to write three recap stories. And those recap stories are going to be about 600 words, uh, and they're going to be based on pre-recorded sporting events. So uh, I have shared them with everybody, so you'll need to look through your email to find them if you haven't bookmarked them already. But it was a shared file that I called the Plague, uh, Plague Plan, and there are four different sporting event videos here, and they are full videos. Uh, there's the Dodgers at Padres for Major League Baseball. There's Jazz at Rockets for the uh, NBA. There's an Ohio State versus Maryland uh, college football game, and then there is a USA versus Netherlands uh, tournament soccer match for women's soccer. So you got those four to pick from. If you find something otherwise on YouTube and you want to use that instead, feel free. Just let me know that's what you're doing. So you have to pick three of these and write recap stories. So you need to watch the, uh, the games the whole way through and treat them like you were actually covering it for a recap. Uh, the big difference will be that you're going to have to pretend a little bit because you're not actually there. And also you won't be able to get direct quotes. And I'm not looking for direct quotes in the stories anymore because you're not actually there to interview coaches and players. And by the way, the owner of these videos, if he pops up as uh, Rich Johnson, uh, he is somebody who was uh, thankfully friendly enough to loan me these four pre-recorded videos. Uh, they were based on some research he was doing. He is an assistant professor over at Crichton University. So good on him for helping us out. Uh, and those will be uh, due at the same time that they normally would be due on April 29. You can do them beforehand if you want to. I would suggest maybe planning it out so that you do one one week, one the next week, one the next week, just to space them and give yourself a little bit of time. Uh, so uh, the quizzes are exactly the same as they've always been because they've been online since the get-go. We don't really need to change those. Uh, the feature has changed also. Uh, the feature, I'm opening up the restrictions so that you can uh, interview friends and family. Um, they can be the sources in your story. If you want to stick to what you already had uh, in terms of your story topic, uh, and you think you can conduct the rest of your interviews via phone or via Skype or some video conference kind of thing, feel free. But if you didn't have a story planned out at this point, the way we're going to change it is say that you can interview friends and family, and the theme of the story will now be sports under COVID-19. So is it somebody who was a diehard fan of something and is now missing uh, their, uh, their favorite team getting to watch them? Maybe it's athletes or high school athletes or, or college athletes who uh, are missing the season or worried about what their life is going to be like without the ability to play these sports. Um, it's got to be sports related, and I would prefer if it was in some way COVID-19 related, but again, 
If you want to stick with your original idea, that's fine. And that's due on the same deadline at the end of the semester. And practices are pretty well the same. We're going to be using Netflix for a good number of these. So if you don't have access to Netflix, please let me know as soon as possible. So just some logistics issues on the Folio site I want to point out to you all. First of all, I did email you about this today, but I want to really emphasize it is the updated attendance quiz. The university has said that we need to have proof that you're active in these online classes by the Tuesday of the first week, which would be uh, Tuesday of this week. Uh, if, you're, if you don't fill out this quiz, I have to forward your name onto the department chair who has to then track you down and make sure you are still intending to finish the semester. Uh, so please just go ahead and do it. It's only one question and that question is, do you have any questions about the way the class has changed? If you do, great, ask it and I will answer it and when I go through and check you in to the course. If you don't, just say no, but either way, you have to answer that question. Also, there's a digital lectures folder here now. Uh, when I'm done shooting this video that I'm shooting right now, uh, the digital lecture will start here. And this is where I will post the videos that will be the quick lectures of stuff we would have been going over in class if it was in person, but instead I'm gonna have to record them. And to the best of my ability, I'm gonna post those on Wednesdays uh, during the week. Uh, the preview and analysis uh, modules within Folio are still there, but you don't need them anymore. The recap is the only one that matters at this point. And you'll notice that there are uh, three deadlines or three different boxes. There's COVID-19 recap one, recap two, and recap three. And they all have the same deadline of April 29. These are for your three recap stories that you're gonna do off of pre-recorded sporting events. I don't care what order you do them in and because you can pick any three events that you wanna cover. Uh, just when you write them up, drop them in here as the three different uh, drop boxes for that. Uh, the quizzes are now pretty well all posted. Uh, I went ahead and posted the next one up, which is uh, rugby, uh, and then I went ahead and, and posted wrestling, softball, and rowing, and lacrosse, uh, which are the, the weekly quizzes. I just went ahead and made them and posted them to Folio, so they are there. I will try to email you to remember to take them, but please, uh, if you could, do your best. Uh, there. And then finally, la last but not least, the practice. Uh, I've posted the practice for this week, which is called Telling a Story. Uh, it's the one I was talking about before we were gone for spring break slash the virus, which is watching an episode of the Netflix docuseries Losers, and then answering questions based off of the age-old system for writing feature stories called the goal system. Okay, well that's pretty well it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I will uh, be, on, like I said, on office hours on Skype. You can find that email that I sent out earlier that is that has my Skype username in it. Between 10 and 11 a.m., I'll be on Skype every day. Email still works. Twitter still works as a way to get into contact with me. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I know this is a much different way than we expected to be uh, learning uh, together here, but uh, we're going we're gonna to make the best out of it. All right. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.